how to create a link on your website to enable visitors to send you files. We're going to start within our Google Drive account. We're going to select New. We're going to select More. And we're going to load Google Forms. Within Google Forms, we need to title our form. And we're going to change our first question. Upload your files. On the right hand side, we have a drop down with various options. We're going to select File Upload. This will present us with an information dialog just to remind us that when we're uploading files, we need to sign into our Google account. Select Continue. Now we have a few options. The first option is to allow various file types. We can enable this and you can select which file types you are going to allow your visitors to upload to your website. Underneath that, we have maximum number of files a visitor can send you. So we just enable 10. And underneath that, we have maximum file size. Do remember, if you're using a free Gmail account, you only have 15 gigabytes of storage in total. So we're just going to select 100 megabytes. We're also going to add in another one. We're going to click upon this little plus sign. We're going to add in another question. Using this question, we're going to enable people to be able to paste in a website link. We're going to select on the right hand side the paragraph option. This enables people to be able to leave a slightly longer answer. It will enable them to also see the entire website address. In the top right hand corner, click the settings cog and select collect email addresses. This will provide your spreadsheet with the email address of the person sending you those documents. In the lower right hand corner, ensure that you click save. And before we finish, we're going to go to the top left hand corner and title our document. Once we've given our document a title, we're going to select the responses tab. We're going to click on the little green Google spreadsheet button. And this will create a spreadsheet within your Google documents with your title. And this is where the responses and links from visitors to your website will send you that information. We're going to click on create. And that now behind the scenes has created our Google form. From the top right hand corner, we're going to select send. And there's a few options in here. We could email somebody our form. We can have a link to our form. And there's an option for embedding. Today, we're going to use this link. If you wish, you can make the link a little shorter. And we're going to copy our link. With our link copied, we will now return to our website. And we're going to add in a text link. Upload your files here. Once we've done that, we can highlight our text and we can select the little insert link icon. We can now paste in our form link and select apply. Once you've added your link, be sure to republish your website. Looking now at our website as a visitor, select a different browser. We've gone to our website and we can scroll to the end of our website and we have our link at the end. We can select upload files. At this point, it will ask you to sign in using a Gmail account. Click next and we will be presented with our form. From here, your visitor can select add files. They can either select them from their computer. Let's take this picture here and open. Once they've added their pictures, they can click on the upload button. And we can also use the paste a website link. We can find our ideal picture on a website. We can copy that link. We can then paste that link into your form. Once they've filled out all the details, they can click on the submit button. Now returning to our Google form, 
as the owner of our form, it now presents us with the fact that somebody has responded to our form. We can see within our Google form that they've added a picture and they've also added a website address. We can actually visit this with inside our Google Drive folder. We can view folder. Here is our image. So we've actually got our image we can download. And if we return to Google Drive, we now have a Google form in here. Not only does it have a link to where our image is stored, it also has the link in here that we can visit to see the picture that they sent us.